can't believe we actually made this find. Here we go. And then we're going to pop back in. He's going to chase. Oh, let's go. Hey guys, it's Jamie from Legion Gaming. In this video, I have just a pretty cool gameplay. This originally was a live commentary. Uh, not really originally, it was a live commentary. But I uh, just didn't record my voice. So, it kind of sucks. I was talking live this whole time. But if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. But this video, we're using the KM44 with my new favorite setup with this weapon. Now, you're going to see it in the kill cam. I'm going to get it right here. It's using the rapid fire, fast mags, grip, and quick draw. With the flak jacket, tracker, and tack mask. I just really like this setup and we go pretty ham on this combine game. Using this along with the scythe. And uh, the main thing I want to say is the GI unit uh, score streak is just incredible. The GI unit goes in on this game. And the wraps, when they don't get shot down, are incredible. When they get shot down, they're like really, like obviously they're really bad. They can't do anything. They're fairly easy to shoot down. When they don't, they can get me eight, nine kills. And uh, I think they knew this. That's why they only give you 15 points per wraps kill. But something else is that. Um, Bonnerhar said they're bringing the score streak buff soon, so hopefully with that score streak buff, the wraps will be harder to get shot down. I'm gonna get a quad feed right here um, to get my wraps. A uh, quad feed between my one gun kill and those three wraith kills. So this score streak setup just goes ham. I was only able to get it once, and I get 63 kills on this map. So that just is a testament to how good this score streak combo is. If you guys like these kind of videos, just sort of commentaries going over my gameplay. Don't forget to drop a like down below and tell me in the comments and we get another lucky kill. The fast mags you can just reload so quick. I knew that if I just rushed in there and got that final kill, I'd be able to get the scores. So we're going to rush up here. Ooh, quick scope. <laughs> kind of, kind of quick scope that guy. And then here I kill the purifier, but then I don't know how I got knifed by that guy. I didn't even see him. We're going to place down our GI unit here. And this is going to start going to work. As you can see, the wraps just got a triple feed there. <laughs> And the Raps are going to get another double kill right here on the objective. That one Raps, oh, gets him off the objective with the double kill. But yeah, the Raps went in, and so is my GI unit, as you're going to see when I cut this clip here. My GI unit already got one kill. So it's going to keep going in. They got another kill there, and I get a kill as well. And this is just an overall pretty sick game that I had. Um, my KD, I was like 15-11. And I managed to go 63 and 18. So I didn't really clutch it out at the end. So I was trying to go 70 plus. Um, so I, I really effed that up. The KD at the end of the game. But yeah, KN44 is my favorite gun since Prestiging. Um, and I just really like it. It's In close quarters, it's an absolute beast. And with Rapid Fire, I don't... Like, Rapid Fire is not supposed to do that much. But I found that Rapid Fire just did a lot for this gun and was able to make me kill up close so much quicker maybe not so much but maybe just enough to beat up some of those other guns that you usually lose to as i don't know how i didn't kill that guy at the side i'm gonna cut to the final part of the game here if you guys enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe down below and uh, for the hardline fans tomorrow will be the double cross map overview for the getaway dlc for battlefield hardline but that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time